this is the coolant valve. No, no, this this is the CPU underneath here. They're the RAM chips. And then this is the fan that cools it down with the heat sink on the end there. That's the battery for the memory. And then there's all sorts of caps and other bits of stuff on there. Which I don't know about. She's alive! Right, computer fix this morning. I had to mess about taking that apart because there was a bit of plastic caught in the cooling fan which would have only made things worse if I'd not sorted it. So I'm on my way into work this morning. Uh, I've pretty much got perhaps two videos to make today because tomorrow I'm away in Huddersfield weather permitting and then after I've done that we're out for a birthday party in the evening so chances are I won't be able to edit anything. So if I can prepare something tonight and then have it upload Tomorrow you still get a video, but fingers crossed I'll try and grab some footage from Huddersfield and bang that together when we get home. Who knows, who knows what's going to happen. Right, it's very cold and very snowy outside still, so I'm going to do myself some tasty kimchi noodles. Very hot and spicy. Put them in the flask and then go to work. Good evening everyone, the highlights of the news this Thursday. Traffic accidents. job we've got can you see me hold on first job we've got the new piece of steel rolled I have to put on the sockets and then we're going to put it on there now somebody mentioned in the comments yesterday drill some little holes in the bar in the plate where these bars are and then you can just do a, a fill weld to prevent the glycol spitting over the top of the bars I did have that in yesterday's vlog, but I edited it out because I thought I was rambling. But good idea. Cheers, man. That's what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm looking at the way that it bulged a little bit yesterday. I think it's going to be essential. So we'll do that also. So we can see on this one, we've got a much better fit. It overlaps on all the corners, that's tight enough, there's a little bit spare, it's moved a little bit when I put the strap on. I've taken advice and I've put lines across where all the bars are underneath and we're going to pop a few holes through where I can weld into them. I think I'll just do it with a plasma torch. And then coming around this side, again, you can see we've got plenty of overlap on the edges. I shouldn't really have any issues with this. And to prevent getting any buckling, I'm going to start tacking from the centre out on both sides, sort of this way, same on here. Hopefully that's a more sensible approach. So I'll just lift this off and we'll blow a few holes into this, uh, into this piece of sheet. Okay, this bit should be easy enough. I've cut the holes for the glycol inlets and outlets. You can see where I missed the inside piece of rod, so I've just got a couple of holes to fill there. And I don't have any more sockets, so I'm changing, that's still hot, I'm changing the sockets out to uh, threaded nipples, but these will accept a copper pipe compression fitting. So I'm quite happy to do that instead and we'll just come straight onto the copper. You see with the others I had to put threaded pipes in there anyway so it probably makes sense to do that and then we can just stick a piece of copper straight in and we're away. 
So that's probably a more convenient way of doing it. It's probably more sensible to do it that way. This is a weld I'm particularly pleased with. She looks quite nice around there. Quite difficult as well to get that uh, get that tight radius. I'm just going to pour myself some spicy pseudo noop. Oh, you beauty! I don't know if I'll get them out of there. <laughs> They swelled up. Oh. Mm. <laughs> we have success. So the glycol jacket is tacked on nicely and I'm about to fill these holes which do all now line up with the with the matrix bars on the inside and then I might just have time today as well to flow the outer edge and uh, I don't think I'm gonna have time to pressure test oh I can't anyway because the water pipes in the unit are bloody frozen aren't they really quite happy all the way around all the little spot welds done in the center what more can you ask for and it really started to flow quite nicely along some of these seams. I've been round with a torch, checked it for any leakies, any pinholes, any crater cracks, nothing like that showing up. So I think we're ready to move on to the outlet. And then once we've got the outlet on there, that is one tank finished. <laughs> I've just fabricated up this fitting. This is a male part on a piece of two inch pipe. And that is what is going to live here in the center. Now we are having a one inch outlet here for takeoff. The reason I've got a two inch <laughs> is because I'm going to send a racking arm through there and the racking arm is going to have a one inch butterfly valve on on, attached to it and this will be big enough for me to push the racking arm through that's the plan anyway and then we can chase the beer down by rotating the racking arm to find where the sediment level is approaching four o'clock now so I'm gonna jump in the car go home get changed and then I'm off out tonight fingers crossed that I get enough time to get some footage of Huddersfield tomorrow. What I don't want to do is leave you with no vlog. I've managed to go 62, 63 vlogs without missing one and I intend to keep that up. But having said that, there's no guarantee that it's going to contain any stainless steel fabrication. More likely, lots and lots of different boozers and lots and lots of different pubs. Hopefully, Magic Rock Brewery is what we're going to see predominantly. So until then folks, we'll see you tomorrow.